This is Triple Threat episode number three, and we're going to take a look at the one that started it all, kicked off the MCU, the Iron Man Mark III 2.0. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video which is Triple Threat number 3, a playlist or series of videos that I'm releasing one by one over the summer, Triple Threat episode number 3 where I take a look at the triple threats in my collection, basically the um, do I, figures that I love the character, love the source material and love that particular version of that particular armor, that particular suit, that particular version of that character. Or will you like it in 10 years time? That's another thing you should ask yourself I think before dropping the expensive uh, money on these uh, high high quality but highly expensive figures. So this is the Iron Man, so the Hot Toys 1.6 scale Iron Man Mark III 2.0 just released a few months ago. Absolutely incredible. A piece from an absolutely incredible movie. The 2008 John Favreau directed, Robert Downing Jr. starring, Iron Man 2008. If it wasn't for that, we more than likely, highly probably, wouldn't have the MCU. So fantastic and still one of the best uh, MCU movies out there in my opinion. Still holds up. Love watching it. Okay, so just straight away, um, I this is just how I've done this series of videos is I'm showcasing triple threats, how I have them displayed in the Blaliden. So I didn't do any special extra posing for these videos. This is just how, this is basically how it looks. This is how it looks in my collection. So I had this previously posed up in a different pose with the um, the base that comes with that iron monger base. But I just felt like, you know, it kind of limited the poses I could do because it's pretty cool, but the only thing about it, there's a small little bit of space. Actually, one second. One second. Bear with me. I just happened to have it here. I haven't put it away or packed it up. So if you look at it, it's pretty cool. You know, you have the iron monger there from where he defeats the iron monger at the end of the movie. You have like, you know, Iron Man, the Iron Man font and stuff like that. But if you look at it, there's not much space there. So your choices are kind of pose them straight up and down. I even think the pose that I have him here in the Blaliden is a bit too wide. Or you could do what I was doing. I kind of had like he was firing a rocket kind of like this, but one foot was on the base and one foot was off the base. Okay, another thing about this, I haven't got a fusion reactor for this yet. Uh, in some of these videos, and I think it's one, one of the next videos coming out in the next few days, few weeks, it's, it's in the series of Triple Threat. Uh, I'll show you the Mark VI from Iron Man 2 next to the Mark I War Machine from Iron Man 2 and they're both lit up at Fusion. So that's the second thing. I um, want to get this lit up at a Fusion. I think the Iron Man figures really come to life when they are lit up. And the third thing is this comes with an absolute bunch of accessories that like this is this series of videos. It's not a review. It's not a breakdown. I've done the review. I actually done a review on this figure already. I've done a review on many of these figures that feature in the Triple Threat playlist. Uh, maybe check them out and, and see or even ask in the comments and I'll let you know if you have a review or not that where I go into detail and I show you every single piece that goes that, that that's in the box, whether it's the base, the crotch grabber, the accessories, um, swap of battle damage parts, if it comes with any, um, even right down to the, the extra wrist pegs, if it has a character has wrist pegs. So this is what it looks like in the Blee the, the Blee Leiden at the moment. And the second, that's through the glass. So what I like to do then is open it up so there's nothing in between the lens and the particular figure. And like I said, this comes with a great Robert Downing Jr. head sculpt. It comes with a bunch of swap out parts that are actually battle damage. Here I've got the clean parts on, I've opted for the clean parts, but it actually comes with a battle damage face plate, chest plate, shoulder pads, a bunch of different weapons and accessories that clip in and off. You can see some of the um, the flaps and stuff like that are articulated and I've just uh, opened them up as if he's just landed or something like that and haven't fully closed yet. And of course the eyes light up, the uh, arc reactor lights up. This is an incredible piece. If you do not have an Iron Man and you like Iron Man and you like the MCU and you want to buy one but you don't go down the rabbit hole, this is the one to get. I mean, I still think the Mark VI, which is actually featuring in one as one of the videos in Triple Threats, is, is still my favorite Iron Man armor, but I think this or the Mark 85 battle damage is probably the most iconic. Okay, so flick through some of these again, just from the side. Again, I'm not changing the pose. This is how I currently have it displayed. There's a few different angles. You can see the inner Joker above, which featured in a different episode of the Triple Threat playlist. Um, I, again, I love the look at this, but I just I love having them lit up those Iron Man figures lit up I just haven't got around to getting fusion wiring up, but you can really I love the paint apps in this 
so it's die cast it's uh the, the original version they, they made a few versions just they made a plastic version and then i think they made a die cast but it was underscaled and had a swap out torso which is really weird there's so much about this figure that's impressive um the fact that it's die cast the pop that kind of the candy apple red and then the uh the gold as well the pop of the colors uh, the fact that it's true six scale, I think the last one was underscaled. The articulation, no more of the swap out neutral and twisted torso. The bunch of accessories comes from. The base is cool. This is, I think it was one of the figures of the year actually. Uh, did it come out last year or this year? I can't quite remember. Again, just another angle of the same pose. It's right down. The, and even like, even the, the engineering is so impressive. I think that's like a Hot Toys this is iron man is their bread and butter they're getting better and better at doing it and i know they do a lot of colorways and repaints that i have absolutely no interest in because i can think off the top of my head about 12 iron man that i don't own that i would like to own that i probably never will own that are incredible but again you have to draw the line between okay how much space are you willing to sacrifice for one character how many versions you really need let's face it you don't need any of these stuff these are wants they're luxury items I love that photo. Just really, really simple, but uh, I wish it was lit up. But incredible. Like, there's so much going on here. There's the faceplate itself and all the lines in the face place, faceplate. There's the pop of the gold, the pop of the red. Even look around the, this part of his chest here. You can see all little pitting and scratching and weathering. There's the kind of metallic bits and the rivets and bolts and stuff like that around that kind of V part of his neck. Um, just an incredible piece. Yeah, had, of course, the, the Mark III, one of the things that had a real rounded uh, chest plate. But even underneath the red parts, you can see more little silver parts. And again, like taking photos and just zooming in, you, I noticed details that I you, know, you might know, notice if it was just on the shelf or if you're holding it. So yeah, just absolutely incredible. Yeah, just a beautiful piece. So I just want to dial back there. I just want to go back to the first one or something like that. There we go. Yeah, so that's it, folks. That was Triple Threat. Episode number three. That was the Iron Man Mark III 2.0. Absolutely incredible figure. Love the character. Love the source material. Love this particular version. Will I love it in 10 years' time? Absolutely. So look, that's the end of the video. If you want to support the channel, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have this or thinking about picking it up. What you think about it. You can also follow me on Instagram and X. That's it. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck. <laughs>